Hey, how you doing today? John Seibel, Seibel's Auto Warehouse, Freeport, PA. Uh, coming at you with a video today on this 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 SLT. Uh, one owner truck, it's been a local truck its entire life. And we're gonna go around, kind of give you the outside, inside view of it. Some shots of the frame. It's by far probably the nicest 06 actually used 2500 Chevy or Dodge I'm sorry that's uh, left on the face of the planet so uh, going around here the bushwhacker flares have been on it since day one the gentleman who we got it off of who bought this truck brand new at Laurel Valley Dodge uh, put these on when it had about 400 miles he put the wheels and tires both on it running boards some chrome accents, a air lift rear air suspension that's all remote controlled, which I'll show you the control here in a little while. Um, exhaust wise, emissions wise, everything stock on this truck. Um, exhaust, any of that sort of stuff. Um, one wee little imperfection, that rear bumper right there. And one little dimple right here. Very minute, but they're there. Um, notice a little stone chip on the tailgate right here and also one right there. Once again, I mean, oh, one right there also. 53,000 miles. Uh, it obviously hasn't been a garage queen all its life, but it was not a, driven in the winter. It wasn't an everyday regularly used truck. Going around there, he did put an aftermarket exhaust tip on it. Uh, weld racing wheels, which I mentioned before. Um, you can take a look, I mean the frame. This is exactly how I got this truck in. The frame never been coated or messed with or anything. It's all stock. Absolutely no rust on cab corners or rockers, anything like that. The paint is all original the entire way around. Right rear door, notice a little chip right there. Um, going around. Um, it's got the Bully Dog Performance mud flaps on it that he installed. Uh, going around, we got a stone chip there on the right fender. Uh, really, a few minor little normal chips and stuff on the front bumper, top guard painted panel there. A little cluster of stone chips there on the left fender, right at my finger, and then back there. A uh, very minor little scuff on the left side mirror there. These are the camper mirrors that extend and twist. But just looking in at the truck bottoms of the doors, rocker panels, carpet, seats, interior, exterior, everything's really nice. Power seat, driver side, aftermarket brake controller that's in it. Um, steering wheel dot or Dodge steering wheel cover, which has uh, been on it since new. We decided to leave it on there. Um, gauge pod up on the A post, on the pillar there. And hanging at the rear view mirror up there is the air, or that's the backup camera screen, but the air control for the rear air lift is there on the sun visor. Bottoms of the doors, rocker panels, just flawless the whole way around. Um, all original, all stock. aftermarket chrome gas door that was on there. Uh, got a tonneau cover, soft on the back. It has the DZ Easy Don tailgate assist shock, so the gate comes down. Um, tonneau cover is 
fl flies open right there. Easy to pop up on here. Got a factory. Oh, sorry there. Got a factory Dodge bed liner in it. Rubber mat. Bed liner's been in it since it was brand new. Couple very minor scratches at the top of the bed caps from just the rubber on the tonneau cover. Very minute, but there. Bottom of the tailgate's all original. Very nice. Like we had mentioned, the aftermarket backup camera that is on there. A couple air trucks for the air system to manually do. Coming around. Rear passenger side. Very nice. No stains. No rips, no tears. Honestly, I don't think anybody ever was in the back seat of this truck. Carpets are flawless. Floor mats are... Um, it's got a sliding rear window in it. Once again, rockers are just absolutely pristine. Bottoms of the doors. Move on up to the front. Same way, rocker panels, door bottoms. Dash panels in fantastic condition. The factory jack and tool kit and everything still right down under the seat, never been opened or used. Heavy duty weather tech mats. Aftermarket bowl Just noticed here on the bug shield a little bit. It looks like it has a stone chip and a little bubble on the plastic chrome right there. And there it is. Uh, 24 valve, 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel. Um, it's got Ford Motorcraft batteries from Murray Automotive Electric on both sides. Has a custom built Dodge stainless topper on the intercooler that was added. AFE cool air intake goes all the way down. Under the hood's phenomenal. The original pad still under. Just a very, very, very nice truck. Well built, not very tasteful, not overdone. Uh, truck that you can actually take if you want to take it to shows you can show it if you want to Take it and uh, Use it. It's a great one to pull your hot rod or your custom with We're going to uh, Yeah, take a look at the frame there. It's just Right down to all the connections for the brake lines everything right in and under you can tell it's a real survivor great truck. It's not been chewed up and put away messed with. It. So we're gonna be offering this truck no reserve come uh, about a week on Bring a Trailer, www.bringatrailer.com. So uh, it's gonna start off at zero and whoever's at the end uh, is gonna be an owner on it. It's a great truck for a good collection. It's a great truck to use uh, to go haul classics and muscles to go to shows or anything you want to do with it. If you're looking for a really nice, well-preserved 5.9 Cummins diesel, this is probably the nicest one that we've came across since 2006. So, with that said, we wish everybody the best of luck. You can check us out at SibelsAuto.com, 724-540-5356. Or come on in down to Freeport, check us out in the showroom. The truck's under roof, and it's going to be there until the new owner comes to pick it up. So we appreciate it. Hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and good luck in the bidding.
Thanks, guys.